Definitely not. Unlikely. Oh, how nice. He's a pigeon, right? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. I met a pigeon and a monkey on the same day. Pinch me. Hi there, pretty bird. Look, he's on my head. Say, would you like to see some pictures of some deep sky objects, pretty bird? Compass wasn't interested in seeing stars. The food was gone, and it was time for him to go home. But Compass being Compass, he went the wrong direction. Oh dear, he wants to get out. Use the window, Birdie, that way. Go to the monkey, go to the monkey. Oh dear, it's not working. Wait, I know. I'll open the telescope door for him. The door is right there. It's behind you. Look! <laughs> oh, the tension is too much. Good idea, monkey. Just don't let him go inside the telescope. He might hurt himself or it. Oh, I can't look. You better take him to the window, George. He can't find it by himself. <laughs> That's it. You've almost got him. Try this. Mmm, wonderful tuna salad. Try and guess the secret ingredient. Ah, uh, no idea. A touch of mustard. Really? Hmm. <laughs> George worried Compass might try to exit through the telescope. George? Hi. Systems restored. What happened? Nothing, nothing. We were just trying to help the pigeon. A pigeon? Ah! <laughs> Is everything all right, Mr. Griggs? I believe so. Oh dear, the telescope is no longer pointing at Mars. I'm going to have to move it. Wait a minute. Look at this! Huh? It's an exploding star! A supernova! Quick, failsafe, photograph it! <laughs> I'm way ahead of you! Oh, George, this is much better than Comet 331P! <laughs> oh, thank you, George! <laughs> Other astronomers had photographed the comet, but only Mr. Griggs saw the supernova. I couldn't have done it without my curious friend, George. <laughs> George was happy that Mr. Griggs got the award, but he was even happier to learn a little more about the stars. <laughs> <laughs>